All right. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Whatever time it is, this is Tragic Life. Um, and we're back in Final Fantasy IV. Last video, I showed you how to get the curse rings, the uh, pink tail, so you can get the best armor in the game. I also showed you all of the summons and how to get them. Um, so we're going to continue at, uh, here in the... What is this place? This place is the Lunar Subterranea. Um, and we just beat the White Dragon. Now, I'm going to give you a heads up. I messed up. I messed up bad. Um, in my grinding frenzy to get everything that we needed, uh, the Adamant Armor, Cursed Ring, and all the summons, I over-leveled my characters by a long shot. So, this is probably going to be a lot easier than it probably should be. Um, so, without further ado, okay, so we just uh, got the Mirasame for uh, Mr. Edge, and we're going to continue for it. That was a silver dragon. I think you've seen those before. I'm not sure. Um, if not, they look like a dragon. Uh, I may show you if I get a silver and a gold one, because I don't think you've seen both of them. Uh, and that will happen. Okay, so it wants me to start over. Got it. So we're going to teleport out. Because there is a lot of treasure in here. A lot. Let me tell you. Okay. So um, I went live with today for the first time in a very, very long time. And I uh, started playing Star Wars Survivor on my PC. Not realizing... That it's buggy. It's super buggy. Beautiful game, but super buggy. Um, there are moments where it's almost unplayable. Uh, and it, it completely froze. I actually had to turn, um, force my PC to shut down, which is never fun. Um, it is what it is, though. I mean, life happens. Um, hopefully, they'll make a patch that fixes it. Okay. So now that we're back in here, we're going to... Okay, so that was um, the the mage, the warrior, and the robot. Um, they did one damage to one person. Another moon maiden and a dark sa uh, dark sage. Okay, so we're gonna go down to B two. Uh, armored fiend did no damage to anyone. Right, go down to B two. Got a flame whip. I think it's better for one of the twins. I don't have the twins. Uh, for Rydia. But we're not going to equip it because uh, she has better. Uh, didn't mean to do that. It is what it is. Okay, so. I got the flame whip. Equip it if you want. Go back east, head all the way north, and then west into a smaller room. And keep going west. And we'll get a dragon shield. Alright. Is anyone in my party wearing a shield? Wait. Alright. So, it can be equipped to uh, Kane or C, so go ahead and give it to Kane. All right. <laughs> Once you have it, head down to B3. Head south from here, passing the stairwell until you come to a dead end. All right. Cubby hole, go, uh... There's another silver dragon. Got a dragon helm. Probably for Mr. Kane. Yep. And Dragon Mail. Was that correct? Was that what I was after? No. Yes. And Dragon Gloves. It's not better, and I'm not doing it. Okay. 
All right. That was a bone dragon. My characters might be a little overboard uh, with power, but that's okay. Back to the walls and into the main room down the stairs. You passed it before. Yay, we're moving pretty well. Move east to the fork and ignore the stairs. Ah, got Artemis arrows. Okay, silver dragon. Now send the stairs to another branch. Go west and through this door first. For an elixir. Those are always good. Uh, head back east and go on dark sage and a bone dragon. All right. Going through the door here to another area B4. All right. So there's a bad guy here. I don't know if I have any sirens left. Let me see. I took them all out, I think. Uh, you can find a little murderer in here. Um, it's a good place to get the goblin summon if you want to. Uh, don't cast uh, lightning on him. Okay. All right. To the northwest in this. X potion. That is not what I was after. I went the wrong way. It happens, guys. It happens. Alright, we got a silver and a gold dragon here. Uh, well, it's just a gold dragon now. I don't know if that worked. I mean, we are that strong. We are walking tanks, y'all. Should be a white fang. Alright. Alright, that was another silver and gold dragon. Um, yeah. Alright, this should be a Stardust Rod. And a monster in a box. Uh-oh. Alright, now you get to see some of my, uh, how strong my stuff is. I mean, look how much damage he's doing. Yeah, we just wiped him out. Okay. So, this is actually better than what Rydia is rocking. So, we'll go ahead and remove this, and we'll give her... Oh, wait. So, Flame Whip brings her up a little bit. Actually, hold on. So, 119. Okay, okay. So, we take out... What was Yochi? Okay, 94. So, ah! I don't think we're really... Sub oh, yeah, we're supposed to have 10, so... All right. Flame Whip, 85, ups my defense. What about the Stardust Ross? It's weaker. Why are we doing it? It greatly increases her magic power. I didn't really see that, but we'll, we'll trust the guide. It seems we've been right pretty much the rest of the game. Why else would a behemoth be guarding it? I mean, that does make sense. It makes a lot of sense. Oh, all right. That was two gold dragons. All right, so we got something here. Let's see. Fun area. Head south and west. I don't feel like we fought an Ari man yet. He's actually kind of strong, and that, that countdown is death. So we're supposed to go here. Blue Dragon. It's going to heal my guys. Or not hit him at all. Another Blue Dragon. Oh, maybe this is what we're after. Hold on. Yep. It's a blue and red dragon. This should be a hard fight, but it won't be. You're supposed to use Bahamut for one of them and just use light, uh, fire for the other. 
But as you saw, the ice healed. Missed everyone, but healed the one person hit. Magic heals me now. Just letting you know, the elements do not hurt me no more. All right, we got a crystal shield. Cool. Okay, that makes me even better. Cool. All right. Go in here. Got a protect ring, which is probably pretty good, but we're not going to use it. Where are we going? Da 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 two gold dragons. All right, we got another monster in a box. What do we got this time? Another behemoth. I'm not even fighting anymore. My character is so strong, I can just leave it on auto. I won't do this with bosses, though. So this might get me killed with bosses. All right, we got Crystal Mail, which would be really good if I wasn't wearing the adamant. The adamant is stronger by a lot. Okay. All right. Um, head back inside, and we're gonna go north this time. Cool. <sighs> I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so now, that was three of those mages, and they healed two of my characters. So, that was that. Alright, should be two blue dragons. Or red dragons, my bad. Let them do me, hit me with fire, please. Heal my characters. Alright, crystal gloves and dragon gloves. Was I supposed to get both? I mean, I'll take both. So let's see. As you see, they are better. However, the curse ring, what it does is it makes everything that's magic. That's why I keep getting healed. Um... All right, should go in here. Let's see, are you what I'm after? A white robe. Okay, nope. It's probably pretty good. I just, you know, I'm a little strong. To the west and north, I think it's this way, yep. Monster in a box. What? Oh, we got a dino zombie. I mean, we had one. Oh no, tornado. What am I getting? A crystal helm. Okay, I mean, that'll uh, increase my defense. Oh yeah. Okay, I'll take it. That's pretty good. That's That's pretty good. Okay, so here is a good, an important part of it. Uh, well, hold I think it's this room right here. A really important room. Uh, all right, there was another Ariman that hit me with Doom. Yep, so this room right here. It's a Red Fang, but in this room, if you bring in your Sirens, this is where you'll fight the Flan Princess. This is that will drop the Pink Tail. Uh, the Pink Tail is how you get the Adamant Armor. You take that back to the Adamant Isle Grotto, the same place that you got the Adamantite to build your Excalibur. It's a pain in the butt. It takes a long time. You're going to over-level a lot. But it is what it is. Um, as you see, it's been worth it. Um, so we're going to keep going. That was another one of the airmen's. All right. It was a blue dragon. All right, it was two blue dragons. They I'm, they keep missing me with their ice attack, so I'm not healing. All right, so. All right. There's two chests here. We should have... Artemis arrows and a Fuma shuriken. Yeah. Which I have a lot of those. They're the best throwing darts in the game. Okay, so which stairs am I supposed to take? Uh, move down the left stairs. Oh, there was an armored fiend and a silver dragon. Okay. 
Got a cottage. All right, let's do blue dragons. Um, yeah, cool. All right. Is that all the treasures? Oh, I messed up. All right. Got a golden apple. Sorry, that was three dark sages. The fight before that was two uh, blue dragons. The fight before that was three dark sages. That was an airman. Three more dark sages. Really? Blue dragon. That was, a, that was an armored fiend. Okay. Monster in the box. No! It's another behemoth. We're very close to fighting a boss um, that's supposed to be really difficult. Uh, with my levels and my armor, I think we're going to walk through him. But I'm going to set it up like I'm not ready. Okay? Really? All right, that was an airman, and before that was a um, two blue dragons. All right, so we're going to go ahead and save here, and we're going to set up. Um, first off, go ahead and use a cottage. We have plenty. All right, I, I fast-forwarded. Let me do my thing. Okay, so he this is his recommendation, and it's up to you. You don't have to follow it. He says you need to put your battle speed... First thing, set your battle speed at 6. Why is it so fast? Change your battle mode to wait. And you need to be at least level 52 or higher. He's extremely difficult if your party is level 50 or under. Um, as his flare will kill you gently in one hit. So we gotta survive the flare. Um, I don't know if the flare is gonna heal us. It might heal us. If it heals us, this is not a problem. He has 60,000 life. Okay. These, those damned by Zemus shall never bear this sword. Okay. So Dark Bahamut. Now this is going to be a very slow fight because of how we are set up with the battle speed. The battle speed is very slow. Okay. Alright, first thing first. Um, he's going to cast Reflect on himself, which makes this very hard. Uh, black magic is going to be worthless. Um, all of his damage is done by Flare. Um, which he'll bounce off himself, so it'll hit you anyway. So you can't even use Reflect. Don't summon. Um, he'll just counter with Mega Flare. Um, having, have Rosta cast Kiraga every round, Cecil and Kane, and Edge attack normally. Reviving as needed, and have Rydia cast Quake. Alright. Seems easy enough. Alright, let's see how Mega Flare does. If it heals us, I'm not even worried about this fight. Oh. Well, we are way too strong. Yeah, this isn't going to be much of a fight. Sorry, guys. Earthquake is it, right? Yeah, he's level 52 when he fought this guy. Uh, Cecil, I'm level... Oh, wait, hold on. He was level 53. I'm 99. So, yeah. Okay. 
Isn't that going to hit us? Okay, okay, so that actually works. We just beat him now. All right, that was it. Um, he's usually harder. Like I said, I made a mistake and I over leveled by a lot. Um, I do apologize. I feel like I'm going to rob you guys some some of the uh, fun of this game, but it is what it is. It wasn't planned that way. Okay, we got the Ragnarok now. All right, so until next time, adios, amigos.